Hey guys, we're back. Here's the doc. Doctor. Doctor? Ah, oh, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, whatever. Sure, analgesic cream sounds good. I have all my health. What were those things? <laughs> he still doesn't know. He just got beamed back here. It's like, oh, Tomographic okay. scans <laughs> indicate a possible neck injury. <laughs> Cranial bruising. You're lucky you didn't get a concussion. Man, they sure knocked us around over there. Yeah, you guys basically died. Hey, Beesman. Hey. Sorry, Monroe, I have to finish this. I like how, I like how he comes back and eats his hemorrhoid cream. You'll need an anti-inflammatory agent for that muscle strain. Tom. What? Want more cream? <laughs> oh, man. I love this game. Hey, dude. Excuse me. What? Uh, it's just some nobody. <laughs> you want more cream? <laughs> Literally, your objective is to go to the the lounge to rest. Should rest be spontaneous? Deck four, hazard operations. There's a, there's a bug in the game where sometimes the turbo lift will open, and so it's like going. It 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 makes it sound like it's going, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. Oh, you can't you can't get any new guns. And my locker apparently self closes. Oh, nothing really here. Alright, well, let's uh, keep going. Some hazard team. We basically all got killed. Excuse me. Can I help you? Yeah, apparently not. Alright, into our lounge. Rigel 7 was tough, but we only lived there for a couple years. Do you think you had it tough? Try being a Betazoid on Vulcan where any hint of emotion is wrong. Okay. Hey, Alex. Just come from sick bay. Watch it. Hey, it's Neelix. What's up, bro? So, oh. how's the Yorolite cobbler? Delicious, thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Chen, your carnalith stew? Great, thanks. You know, you really didn't have to hand make all this for us. Well, just because you're on duty doesn't mean you should be forced to eat replicator rations. Yeah. Thank you, Neil. What he said. Excuse me. Oh, I'll talk to you. Damn it. I like how he, he died on the ship and then just here having a meal. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I like that. Alright, let's go to the locker room. Or something. Oh, this is locker room. Oh, now people are here. They spawned here. I still can't believe we were all nearly killed last time. Yeah, they messed us up pretty good. Well, that's not really fair. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? I heard Chakotay and Tuvok talking about the scavengers. Oh yeah. I ran into Kim. He was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along on the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation. Hey, look, a red shirt. <laughs> All available hazard team personnel report to the briefing room. Okay. With the information your team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. This is called the Forge. It's generating the dampening field that keeps Voyager and the other ships trapped here. Do we have any idea what's running that thing? Or why it's here? No. The Ethereans had no detailed information about it. For all we know, it could be a simple machine. But our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. This is Isodesium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Milana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. The sensor info from the Ethereans shows that there is Isodesium nearby. Unfortunately, it's located here. What is that? A scavenger's base of operations. These are the scavengers. A loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. 
They survived by raiding other ships for supplies, like their attack on Voyager earlier. The Isodecium was most likely stolen from other ships. Looks like they used some of it, but most of it is scattered around their base. They probably don't know of its energy potential. It's imperative that we get the Isodecium and get Voyager functioning again. We don't know what other surprises we'll encounter here, or what that forge has in store for us. Sensors show hundreds of scavengers on that base. All races we're familiar with. Klingon, human, Malon, and Hirogen. We're a bit outnumbered here, so we've opted for a stealth infiltration and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Once there, Ken and I will set up an extraction plan. Monroe, Telsia, and Odell will split up and retrieve three samples of the Isodesium each. When you're done, you will make your way back to the extraction point. That's it, people. Now get prepped and report to the shuttle bay. Good luck, team. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool, of a cool mission. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Oh, I'm serious, man. Vulcans love it when you yank real hard on their ears. Some Vulcan pain ritual thing. Really? Yeah. How do you think they got so pointy? <laughs> Trust me. Try it. Tuvok will have an all new respect for you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yep. Excuse me. Hey, Monroe, lay off. Why? Hey, would you have a mission to go on? I guess so. Oh, we didn't get to bring him along. Man, he's the best character. That forge sounds like a von Neumann machine. Automated self-replicating probes. Rigelians had something similar. They'd land on a planet and use local resources to build more probes and send them out. That is so they would multiply exponentially. There could be billions of these forges all over the galaxy. You better get equipped and get down to the shuttle bay. Foster's waiting. Good luck, Monroe. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Chicote. Oh, doesn't want to talk to me. Good work, Wyatt. Take this to the captain. Grenade launcher. We just finished replicating the new compound grenade rifle. I know it's a stealth mission, but you never know what you're going to run into out there. You can't wait to be prepared. Secondary launches magnetic charges. You might want to test it out on the holodeck here first. Yeah, let's use it. This 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 uses the uh, this uses the uh, uh, compression rifle ammunition, which is good because uh, we don't actually want to use that. It's kind of hard to use. You get that. You get the mine mole thing. It's actually kind of neat. It's not a pretty good weapon though. It'd be pretty accurate with it though. It's a uh, it's bookcase. Oh, nothing really. <clears throat> Even around here. Yeah, that one. That one's a slightly less uh, damaging version. But this is much better than the compression rifle. The compression rifle is like probably the worst weapon unless you're using for just for sniping. I guess we'll go up here. If I can hit him. Oh, there, got him. It's fun. I like how he missed. <laughs> He's just like shooting randomly. Oh, that should have gotten him. The range is a little bit of a problem on this gun. Damn it. Get them all? Nope. That's fun. <laughs> I love a little hall deck. I, I can just spend all day. You guys can go on that mission. I'm just gonna hang out here. And now that we run into the problem of where's the last guy? Oh, wait, we can go down here. Well, I'm clearly missing somebody. That's kind of neat, though. Stupid Camelot. 
I, I can end the program, but I want to find the last guy. Oh, there he is. Excellent. Haha, <laughs> there we go. We did it. Oh, nice grenade launcher. I know it's a stealth mission, but I'm just gonna give you a grenade launcher anyway. Oh yeah, we gotta go down to the, the shuttle bay now. Deck 10, shuttle bay. Oh, I was hoping that the door glitch would happen. It's kind of funny. <laughs> just to see the level load break. Alright. So, buddy, I got a grenade launcher. Fine. Don't talk to me. Hey, Monroe, they're waiting for you down below. They're having some trouble with the docking clamps, but I think Salma and Lang are on it. <laughs> Who wants to bet that it's gonna be the solution is gonna be me pressing a bunch of panels? Hey. Sir. Yes, Ensign. I'll try it again. I've already tried it five times. They're stuck. Controls must have been damaged in the attack. Great. Lang to Paris. I'm down below, but there's a serious exhaust leak down here. I can't get to the overrides. Hey, Lens, can you send one of your men down there? If we can't get those docking clamps released, we'll be going nowhere fast. Sure. Monroe, you don't look busy. Get we down below that. and see it's what you can do. from the inside. You'll have to go around. Okay. So what's with that base? Looks like a scrap. Nobody's doing anything. Looks like it was thrown together from the remains of their ships, I guess. Yeah, I thought I saw a Cavort-class bird of prey in there. Yeah, Klingons. Yeah, what's with that anyway? I mean, are we allies with the Klingons? I heard Chicote saying they didn't answer hails, but maybe they have no comm system. Anyway, they attacked us, so they must be hostile. Yeah, and who knows how long they've been here. They might not even know we're allies. Right. Hmm. Oh, he's dead. I actually want to try going up here, because there's a... There's a door here. Oh, shoot. No, no, I want to go back. Let Ensign Expendable handle that. We're, uh, we're gonna move on to greater things. Oh, he's dead, dude. I probably should have helped him out. Whoops. <laughs> he's kinda dead. Whoopsies. Get back up here, Monroe. Let's get this show on <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Screw the nobody who just got killed. For this flight. I estimate a cruising speed of about two thirds impulse power and an elapsed time of just under five minutes. All right, Captain. We're all set here. Okay, all aboard. I like the sarcasm. I never liked Tom Paris anyway, so he's kind of cheesy. This is your captain speaking. The in flight movie will be Captain Proton versus the Robo Zombies. Thank you for flying, Delta Flyer Airlines, and we hope you have a pleasant flight. Yeah, these ones better. Well, I believe one ship can move. Suddenly appear underneath the ship. Good luck, gents. Meet you back at the homestead. All right. This is a stealth mission. Avoid detection at all cost. However, if you do find yourself in a hostile engagement, defend yourself by any means necessary. On route to airlock three. Right. On my way to airlock two. Wait, we're all alone? Uh, I don't mind. Kelsia checking in. I'm in position. Odell checking in. I'm through the third airlock. Alright, team. 
we'll be using a coded Federation subspace comm channel. But try to maintain calm silence unless absolutely necessary. When I give the signal, return here. We'll have pattern enhancers set up to beam us out. Wonder how we were able to breathe in these skin tight spacesuits. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Okay, Monroe. We'll be able to track you for a little while here. We'll try to alert you to any dangers we can detect. Okay, so I gotta be stealthy. What up, bro? Careful. No running. Footsteps could alert the Klingons. Stay quiet. Yeah, we just uh, go slowly. Watch it. There's a couple of life signs just ahead. Lean around the corner and check it out. Do I have a lean key? I don't think so. Uh, step left. Uh, side step? No. I could have sworn there was a leaning in this game. I think that's the second game. Okay, well I guess you don't actually lean. You slowly... Gotta just go real slowly. Alright. We'll just uh, hide over here. Oh, she's going up a little more. I don't know why this game really needed a stealth mission. I don't know why I'm saying that. Wardell checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found some ICD-SIM. This section looks melon in design. Run down, lots of fog. Radiation levels are high. Roger. Foster out. Ah, filthy creature! Oh, let's try the other way. <clears throat> I'd rather not be sneaking around for an hour. Oops. Monroe, what's going on down there? Oh, there's nothing even there. To avoid Shut up. <laughs> you were supposed to avoid detection, Monroe. Det avoiding detection is boring. Uh, no. No, please. Oh, shoot. How did they not see me? Oh, my God. They have no peripheral vision. I don't even know how to get up there. Oh, wait, they just leave. That's why. I guess that solves that problem. <laughs> Stealth. Alright. There's a health terminal here. Uh. Is there a weapon terminal anywhere? Oh, control panel. Can go in here? Nope. I want you to fail. Right here? Oh, just that dude. Uh, what do you do? I guess we just walk right past him. Wow! <laughs> Don't know how he missed me. Telsia checking in, sir. Go ahead. I found a sample of the Isodesium. Sir, this area looks like a Federation ship, early 23rd century. But I don't recognize these markings. This is not an archaeological expedition. Just get the samples and get out. Roger, sir. Telsia out. We are Klingons, not Orion pirates. There is no honor. And we have to put up with those insufferable Melon Patoks. And those irritating humans. Yeah. At least they're a good Oops. buffer from the road. Buffer? Now you sound like a Romulan. 
They're lucky we need their parades. If we ever get out of here, the first ones I plan to kill are those heroic. <laughs> that would be a glorious battle. It will be a good day to die. I'm, I'm really surprised that they can't see me, but I guess it's just video games. Slip right past him. I'm guessing the door I just opened is over here. Yeah, that's right. Hey, I just I see him. Monroe, what's your status? Just got my first sample, sir. Roger, Foster out. <laughs> it just just as I pick it up. Monroe, what's your status? I got it, sir. Damn it. Uh, I guess we got to go back to the airlock thing. Unless no, that thing opened so. What's going on down how, there? how does he You're know this? To avoid detection. <sighs> I don't well I killed him anyways, but no. Yeah, I'd prefer to get like, you know, perfection. Him not saying that once. It's kinda dumb though. Stay open. You know, it's perfectly lit up, and he could be looking directly at me. He just has, like, this preset patrol route. Hey, cool, it's a uh, thing. Hey, it's a dude. Alright. Let's, uh, see what's over here. Nobody I want to mess with. Oh my god. Odell? What is it? I don't know. Bones? Oh, wait. I think I'm being followed. I'll check in later. Odell out. He's being hunted. He's with the Herodrin, I think, or whatever. They, they hunt uh, people. Turn around. Good man. Later, bros. I don't know. I don't remember all the species. Monroe. Monroe here. I need a diversion. This area is heavily guarded. Can you transfer power away from this quadrant? Monroe, Ken here. You're in the Klingon engineering section. There should be a power trans. Oh, Monroe. Oops. What's going on down there? You're so okay. Let's let's. I, I actually want to hear what this dude. You'll know it when you see it. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm supposed to actually, I think, do something down here. Um, maybe not. Let's see, let's see if it's over here. Hi guys. Oh no, not down here. Just get the ice. You're supposed to avoid detection. Not Rambo everything. All right, let's try going back up. Monroe, what's going on? Uh, I want to. I want to try and get this uh, perfect. I, I don't know if there's some kind of reward. Oh, I see. I'm a dumbass. Hey, more ice. What happened? I don't know. Check the terminals. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, then they get distracted with their computers. Damn computers! Oh, okay. It's not, uh. uh oh. Okay, you didn't see me. Anything here? That did it! Thanks, Monroe. Uh oh. Monroe, what's Damn going it. on down there? You're I don't know if that's, uh. Intended. That did it. 
Thanks, Monroe. Yeah, Monroe. What's going on down okay, here? Ray. You're supposed to. He's not doing. He keeps looking right, right behind him all the time. I guess this is the time I'm supposed to get captured or something. That did it. Thanks, Monroe. No, no. What was that? Check the transfer manifolds. I'll check with the guard in the cargo bay. Okay, let's uh, try and slip right past them. Oh, so you can do it without being detected. Oh no, I just need to do that for me mostly. <clears throat> it's amazing how, how poor they can see. What do you want, saboteurs? What? Why did you divert our power? We did not! Our whole section is on emergency lights. Bah! So much the better. Now you won't have to see each other's repugnant faces. We're not leaving until you return power to our sector. This patak must be hallucinating. I know what that word means. And what are you going to do about it? We outnumber you two to one. Ha! It would take 20 Malon to equal one Klingon warrior. It is we who outnumber you two to one. That would be ten to one, Klingon wench. Ha! Stop! They might be telling the truth! Let's check it out! We're not leaving until you restore power. I'm probably got to kill them. Fine. Be our guests. Do I have to kill them? Probably. Sadesium. Oh, here we go. Am I still being stealthy? I guess so. Monroe to Foster. I have the last sample of Isodesium. I'm on my way back. Hold on, Monroe. Odell hasn't reported back yet. We can't get any response from him. Can you go check it out? Yeah. I'm right by the entrance to the Malon area. Good. See if you can find Odell. But be careful. Foster out. Okay, we're gonna end it off here. Monroe to Ken. There's a security guard at the Malon entrance. Roger. I'll see if I can override it from here. Okay, we're gonna end it off here. So see you guys later. Bye.